Hey guys, I'm Jill and today we're going to talk about five things you can do when you're being gaslighted, which is a very bad thing, so we don't want to waste any time. So let's get into it. <laughs> Number one, distance. Try distancing yourself a little bit to cool off and to be able to look at future events with more clarity as the past may seem blurry. The main reason for that is not just to process your feelings and stay calm and focused on the truth, but also to make sure that you're actually experiencing gaslighting because you don't want to run around and, you know, accuse people of things that they may not be doing. But that's hard as it is when you are being gaslighted because you usually think that it's your fault. And I'm here to tell you, it's not. Number two, evidence. As mentioned in my video about signs of being gaslighted, you want to save everything in text form or maybe even in your calendar um, when events happen. So you can go back to them when you feel like they are telling you a different story. While collecting evidence, try to set some boundaries and practice self-care as well, because this may cause some stress and anxiety and you don't really wanna have more of that. So keep that in mind. Number three, confrontation. Gaslighting works so well because it confuses you and shakes your confidence. If you show that that behavior doesn't get to you, the person gaslighting you might just decide that it's not worth doing anymore. Gaslighters try to disguise insults as jokes or backhanded compliments or say things like, you're just confused and it wasn't meant like that. But asking them to explain the joke as if you just didn't get it or say no when they try to force you into things or just say, that was really mean, may help them realize that these strategies just don't work on you. Number four, support. When dealing with gaslighting, it is important to get insights and support from people you trust. By having someone who isn't involved emotionally offer an unbiased opinion, it gets easier for you to feel more confident in what you know, and it'll be easier to differ between facts and fiction. Number five, ending. In the end, if things don't get better and the person keeps gaslighting you, and the relationship. Either try ending it by distancing yourself or if that doesn't work out just say you don't have that much time for that friendship anymore or you don't want to make time or you just lift yourselves apart. Just don't try arguing with them because you'll be seeking a confirmation that you'll never get. So do you think you're being gaslighted right now and if so what are you planning on doing about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's start a conversation and help each other. And if you're wondering what the signs of being gaslighted are, I have a whole video on that linked in the description down below as well as up here. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!